Hello everyone, Maurice and welcome to Tanks Invest. Talk about investing, finance, fresh development for today's terms only. The investment top today would be Bitcoin, ticker BTC. So it's been a while since I last covered Bitcoin on a technical perspective. So I'm going to go through the analysis again to see how we're trending so far, right? Ever since the B Word Summit, we were trending at the level of 2000, or 29,500, all the way surge up to close to about 50,000 at 48. $1,184 level, which is the high peak on the Apex perspective. So I'm going to go through the technicals to see how we're psychologically trending. It seems like we are just kind of hovering on a sideways fashion at $43,932, well, technically $44,000. But I've been, you know, hearing some news uh, on the media front, and some of my friends on here on YouTube talking about, are we going to see like 15000 again? Knowing the fact that, you know, there's been some news or speculations that we might get there later. Or soon in the near future. So stay tuned, stay around, let's make some money. All right, so moving on to the technical analysis for Bitcoin ticker BTC. I'm recording myself 1142 a.m. on an Eastern time, kind of trying like $45,595, up about 3.5% so far. You can see that with respect to the overall crypto market, we're relatively green today. And I think this is mainly driven by the anti quality effects from the equity side, which are kind of normalizing. But also at the same time, we're basically bouncing off of the resistance levels that we've been testing, you know, prior, right, at the $43,932 level, or $44,000 to be more specific, right, if you want to just like keep it a flat number. So. With respect to the technicals, we are seeing a little bit more of a normalization in comparison to like Ethereum. We did recently, unfortunately, form that cross. So we are crossed down. So we are experiencing some bearish pressure. On top of the fact that RSI is not extremely overbought, we're just at the neutral level, but we are leaning more of a propensity of overbought at the moment, right? So with respect to the current level uh, of the 44,000, which is the level that we've been kind of hovering above, trying to break above 50 but we never got there right and you see the next level technically you know if you break below above the 48,000 would be somewhere around like obviously the 50 right which is the next level and you could see that would form that platform like once twice three times four five six right here seven which was a one time one time drop eight right here nine ten eleven right so that's a relatively substantive one but it takes a lot of pressure for us to get another five thousand dollars search so when you don't get above there your rocket is basically floating on a sideways fashion without you know basically not enough gas to get above this to the next level or not enough you know market catalyst or corporate adoptions in a supply and demand dynamic perspective so we are just kind of trading on a sideways fashion you know testing the next substantive uh, consolidation platform that we're newly forming but if you look at the level of consolidation we've basically formed that once twice three times four times five six six times in comparison to the 11 times we've seen on top right so the more substantive level that we should technically come back to in a more comfortable level you know would not be the forty thousand because the forty thousand is like is a is a like a consolidation level, but in terms of like what's the most substantive level would be somewhere around like the thirty four thousand four hundred, if you look closely. Right, you you see that's like a, I don't even know how many there are. It does like maybe twenty consolidation bounce offs that we have had experience in duration from like the nineteenth all the way to the twenty sixth, right? So ideally, I would be dollar cost averaging, you know, below the 40k. I think we're still running relatively hot. We need to cool down a little bit more to ideally get the RSI back down a little bit. And I think the bottom should technically be the 34,500. Um, do we see like 15,000, which I've, you know, been asked before? I think that would be very unlikely, right? 15,000, that's all the way here. And that will require you to break through multiple resistance levels. Right, but you do have to understand that if we break 30, yeah, we're definitely heading there. But we won't get all the way to 15 first, we'll get to 23 first. Right, you can see that there's a gap in between, right? You see that leap up, right? And then subsequently, we see that mega surge, right? Because of the Coinbase IPO and obviously with the Elon Musk news, 
on him disclosing that he's currently investing in Bitcoin and he's holding Bitcoin in the balance sheet of Tesla. Right? So something to be mindful of. Um, I, I, I think 15,000 is very unlikely. That makes, doesn't quite make sense, right? It'll break through like one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Six levels of really substantive level. I think it will be very difficult to crack the level of just this, 34,000. Okay, so just to recap on numbers and technical analysis, um, with respect to Bitcoin, um, I think we do have a likelihood of actually selling back down because we just kind of hovering on a sideways fashion. So for me, I would definitely practice a little bit more patient, um, knowing the fact that RSI is relatively hot, despite, you know, uh, we've been kind of more, you know, less volatile in comparison to Ethereum and all the altcoin office for obvious reasons. Um, that 37,500 will be more of an ideal level for the dollar cost average. And I think 34,500 would be the ideal level to dollar cost average because that's a really substantive level that we've consolidated before. Um, and I think anywhere right around 34 to 31 would be, you know, strong level of support for you to be investing in. Um, and again, 15,000 would be very unlikely because that will basically crack through seven resistance levels. And for you to do that, um, two out of the seven are very substantive as well. So that doesn't quite make sense logically, uh, unless like corporations just start to sell everything for no reason, but there needs to be an incentive for people to do so. But long-term wise, if you're buying in the current level, you know, I think, I think in a conservative perspective and a corporate adoption of 10%, 138,000, 3.7 times your money if you buy the 37,500. All right, so that's it for today. Respect my technical analysis on Bitcoin ticker BTC. Hopefully, this is helpful and to give you more clarity uh, as to you know what's the right execution level to dollar cost average going forward. Really appreciate you, um, and you know feel free to give me a shout if you have any questions. And stay tuned for this come up. Take care. Bye.